Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Dr. Yanti. I am a lecturer in family medicine from Perdana University. Uh, I would like to say thank you to Dr. Gary Liu for this opportunity to share a few slides, a few memories that we have shared my, for myself, my uh, former uh, head of department, uh, Ms. Dr. Professor Anthony Cummins and uh, three cohort of Perdana University, uh, RCSI, Kuala Lumpur, uh, with uh, Uncle Amran. So um, let me share uh, my screen. Uh, I have a few pictures that probably will speak more than a thousand words than from what I would like to say verbally. Okay. Right, I'll be sharing my slide presentation. Okay, this is a small thing for Uncle Amran. Um, uh, the memory that he had actually um, shared with us um, actually have a lot of impact to the journey of my students who were our future doctor. So that is his picture that I've taken at the end of his last class in 20, 2020. Yeah, so um, he actually involved in our teaching as our guest tutor for early patient contact modules uh, for year one uh, medical student in Padana University Royal College of Surgeon of Ireland. At that time, our campus was in Mahibs, uh, Serdang. And uh, during the terrible time, difficult time of COVID, uh, our campus has actually shifted from Maibs uh, to um, Jalan Semantan, Kuala Lumpur. At that time, we all know that Maibs has been converted into a COVID hospital. And uh, unfortunately, during that difficult time, also uh, our uh, Mr. Umran left us yeah, to go to meet his creator. So let us cherish what he had actually share with us in Perdana University. So he met us in 2018, the journey start in January. Uh, the student that he met in 2018 is currently class of 2022, going to be soon graduated next year in April. Okay, and uh, subsequently he came back with our uh, Dr. Gary Liu uh, to the same campus and uh, met our uh, cohort. Uh, currently in year four, class of 2023. And the final year, uh, that is the last time that we met him in January 2020, was a year three, class of 2024. So that's our cohort, the first time. Um, I'm here in front, and that's Uncle Amram, uh, Dr. Gary, and Prof. Anthony Kamin, and the whole 46 uh, students. And now they are all in final year and um, when he came we somehow have a connection uh, he kind of i knew that he will come back he actually loved sharing with my student he actually opened their perspective you know how is actually um, life as a homeless and our homeless friends and because our meeting uh, this cohort actually uh, make their own um, meetings to um, Kuala Lumpur Street to see the rest of uh, Uncle Amran's uh, friends on the street uh, as an activity yeah, uh, to give for people or person or friends that live on the street. So the next year, I knew Prof. Uh, uh, Kamins and uh, Gary would bring Uncle Amran again. Uh, we went and took some pictures when his first visit but unfortunately, that picture did not find him on the street when my student went. So we actually uh, managed to give that uh, pictures together um, during the next meeting in 2019. Uncle Amran really loved to talk to our student. And he actually shared his perspective, uh, making um, the student understand yeah, uh, what are the health determinants and that is responsible in terms of uh, health and how is his challenges uh, in accessing a healthcare. 
that's our final uh, meeting in January 2020. Uh, this is uh, slightly before MCO started. Uh, still remember him, his head. And uh, these are the students, the cohort. This picture was taken a few months ago uh, because I do not have the, the student's picture when he came uh, after, after his meeting. Right. So that his favorite camel uh, was in Serda. Uh, his name is, no, her name is Mina. Okay, every time he comes, there will be a picture of him with Mina. And uh, it's not just him. We too love to take a picture with Mina. And uh, normally after uh, an hour and a half, sharing his experience with the student. We will come next to this uh, field to have some nasi goreng for Uncle Amran and myself and Dr. Gary and Prof. Anthony. This is my last picture with Uncle Amran. We were watching Avengers movie. I can't remember the name of it, but it was the final Avengers movie. Um, this is part of the Street Feeders and Sesos move to collect some uh, donations. And uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, street friends that come with Uncle Amran. So after this, I have not seen Uncle Amran. Uh, the MCO, I think, hit our country's heart. And it is very sad when Mr. Gary told me that, um, you know, uh, Uncle Amran had passed away. And... Um, it was a, a little shock to me. But anyway, let's cherish the memory. Let's, cher let's cherish what he has shared with us. This was his last message for the Hari Raya. And there's a song here by Saloma and uh, some Latifa Junit. Uh, I think uh, I can't remember the name of that lady. So if we click on that, it will go to uh, the song. And uh, we wish him in a very nice, peaceful place uh, with the creator, Fatiha from Gulamran. Deepest love from my heart, I say thank you. And may you be rest in peace. Semoga uh, diterima, you know, and ditempatkan di sisi para solehin. Thank you from me and uh, my student from Perdana University. That's all from me. And uh, thank you again, and I hope all his relatives would actually remember Uncle Amran. He's a very nice a gentleman that has touched our heart and share his journey with us and somehow shape uh, my students and uh, our future doctors. Take care. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good evening for everyone. Bye. Hello, Gary. This is uh, Benjamin from Copenhagen, Denmark. Um, I think I, I would like to to send this uh, as a voicemail when speaking about Uncle Amron. Um, so yeah, let me just share a few of the experiences and feelings that I have for this uh, wonderful man. So one of the first times I met Uncle Amron was together with Sharmini when I went along with uh, the street feeders, I believe on a Wednesday during my initial time in Kuala Lumpur in I think it was 2016. Uh, I clearly remember the evening because meeting on on Glamran was uh, one of the best and most important things that happened to me while living in Malaysia for a period of four months. Um, on that particular evening, we we spoke about various things, and on Glamran also ended up singing a, a tune for us, which he said was his favorite song, <laughs> and. Uh, it was a song by an artist called Matt Monroe, uh, and the song title was Walk Away. Um, I had never heard it before then, uh, but now it actually means quite a lot to me, as Uncle Amman said. It was a song that has described uh, his life quite a lot. Um, and actually, it also turned out that Uncle Amman had quite a beautiful voice to go with it. 
Um, what I really appreciated about Uncle Amram was his positivity, uh, his helpfulness and resilience, and also his great intellect. Uh, for me, Uncle Amram was a very smart and knowledgeable person, uh, uh, and Uncle Amram was also a highly reflected individual, in my opinion. And my impression is that he was able to actually speak to and also associate with people across many social layers. Um, and I also feel like people respected him across many social layers. So that is quite an achievement, I think. Um, with my limited knowledge to his life, I found him to be a person of very high morale and integrity. And for that, I, I respected him a lot. Um, I I considered Uncle Amman a good friend uh, while I was in Malaysia. And to be honest, I, I still do to this day. So even though our paths crossed only for a brief while, he left a very positive and meaningful mark on me. I feel very honored that I had the privilege to get to know Uncle Amman. Uh, and it's also especially thanks to you, Gary, for introducing us to each other while being part of the Street Feeders. Um, as I said, the relationship that we created meant a lot to me and, and still do, uh, do mean a lot to me. Uh, as it has been uh, one of the absolute highlights during my lovely time in, in Malaysia. Um, so, yeah, Uncle Amran, he frequently still pops up in my heart and in my mind on the other side of the world in, in small Denmark. Um, and, yeah, I'm just very happy and blessed that I had the chance to, to get to know a good person and a good friend in Uncle Amran. So, yeah, thank you. Hi, my name is Rao. Just want to take a moment to remember this special person, Uncle Amran. There's two stories I would like to share. First of all, I would like to share that there is, there's a few people in your life that comes in at a, at a, at a crucial time at a, in a, in, for a brief moment to, to, to really change the way you think, the way you, you see the world. And Uncle Amran did that to me by really looking at the street friends from a very completely different perspective. And this has been, the, for me, the foundation of all the charity activities that I have, I have been doing since. Number two is that he taught me how, how someone could have everything and nothing. And someone could have, who couldn't have, who have nothing but still have everything and I, and I felt those two lessons have been very crucial to me as I embark on this uh, journey to, un to Uncle Amran where you are thank you so much for this and to Gary and the organizing team thank you so much for organizing this um, event in, in, in memory of Uncle uh, Amran. Thank you, guys. You are awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good evening. My name is Marian. Thank you for inviting me to share something about my friendship with the late Uncle Amran. I met Uncle Amran years ago when I was a volunteer in Carl's Kitchen, which is a soup kitchen near St. John's School. Over the years, we became good friends, especially since another of the volunteers, her name is Peck, was also a good friend of his. And when Carl's Kitchen closed down, we still managed to meet up because when Peck and I volunteered in another soup kitchen, Pit Stop Community Cafe, Uncle Ambran would go there in the evenings, and after he has had his meal, he would stay back and chat with us. There were a few occasions when we went to restaurants, have a meal together. But I think the one thing that I most remember was when Uncle Ambran was given a flat to stay in. So he invited us to visit him. And so Peck and I went to visit him and he was so proud to show us his place. 
But one thing that I do remember when he showed us his place was that he said he still found it difficult to sleep on a proper bed because he was used to sleeping on cardboard on the streets. But having said that, the one, the thing, the memory I keep of Uncle Amran, the word that comes to mind when I think about him is the word gentleman. When you look at him with his French beret, I just couldn't help thinking about what a gentleman he is, not only in terms of how he appears, always neat and clean, but also, more importantly, how he is or he was as a person. He was a gentleman in the true sense of the word. He was kind, he was considerate, and he didn't want to impose on any one of us. I'm sure that like his many other friends, he will be sorely missed and hope one day soon I'll be, have a chance to give my respects to him at his graveside. Greetings to everyone attending the Remembrance Gathering of our beloved Uncle Amran. My name is Chaba. I'm from Hungary. I spent four months in Kuala Lumpur back in 2016. Uh, we co-founded a project uh, with a couple of teammates of mine for creating livelihoods for the homeless people. To be honest, when we started this project with my teammates, we were just a bunch of people from different countries, honestly. We had the best intentions, but almost zero knowledge about the lives of homeless people. And it was Uncle Amran who took our hands and took us around the homeless communities of KL. He introduced us to his street friends, he told us a lot about the challenges of these people. With his help, we could get to know our street friends and understand how they lived and how we could support them. Uncle was a tremendous inspiration for us, and he's still inspiring us to do good, even today, even if he's not physically with us anymore. A year ago, when our friend Gary told us that Uncle passed away, first I thought, what a huge loss for KL and the world. But then I quickly realized that we have not lost him in every sense. His legacy is still with us. All those deeds and energies coming from him are still echoing and having a positive effect in this world. And this is what makes him eternal. With my former teammates, we are wishing you to have a warm remembrance gathering and we hope you are going to find peace and consolation while you are remembering all the good deeds that our beloved Uncle Amran has done in this world. Hello everyone, my name is Said Azmi and I'm sorry I couldn't be there tonight. However, I have fond memories of Uncle Amran and actually Uncle Amran has taught me so much in a short period of time, me knowing him. He finds the best of things over all the hardship he went through, but he never talks about the hardship. He only talks about what he learned and such wisdom has given me a different eyesight and perspective, a different lens on how I see things. Even it changed the way I speak to people, my manners, and how much humility he has and the smile. I cannot forget because he smiles over everything. He has his views, but he has to smile over everything. Have, I mean, it was really a shock, but um, his memory and all the good things that he has taught me will linger with me for the rest of my life. Thank you so much, Uncle Amran. Hello, everyone. My name is Luis Bracamontes, and I got the pleasure to meet Uncle Amran in 2016 um, through the Inclu project and Street Feeders. And I must say that he has been one of the most inspiring and wisest people that I've ever met. Um, he touched me uh, with his kindness and with his way of looking at life with so much um, calmness and generosity and wisdom. And, you know, very often we take for granted what 
what the people around us can provide regardless of who they are where they come from what do they do what's their current state and um uncle amron was the the door to a community of uh beautiful street friends that have a great heart and so much potential and he was a beacon of hope and light and i'm sure that he is um his legacy, his legacy will live on um, through the people that he touched and that he inspired. Uh, I must say, I feel very grateful and very fortunate to have been able to cross paths with such a wonderful person. Hi, I'm Linda. I knew Uncle Amran from Gary. Uh, he introduced us together about four or five years ago. Um, there wasn't a lot of memory that I had with him because uh, we only met in a very short while but I knew it's all good one okay um, my first impression when I first met him was he, he can't be a homeless do you know why because uh, for homeless he was too stylish uh, he always dressed up very well and nice no matter uh, where he was and when we engaged in our first conversation I surprised that he speak very well English then I found out that he was a university graduate a well-educated man uh, he was a very intelligent man um, you can discuss almost everything with him uh, and he's a very nice guy to hang with so I can see why Gary loves him so much. Okay. Mm, there's a few memories that um, that we had that I want to share with you all here. One of it is I can see that Uncle Amran uh, was a very uh, was was a guy that uh, with integrity. Uh, do you know why I say that? Because there was there was an incident before uh, we went to Indonesia together. Mm, I gave him a backpack uh, so he can put all his things together and then I didn't realize that my husband, I thought that backpack was empty, a new one, but I never know that my husband put his foreign currency inside. So when I gave it to him, uh, Uncle Amran found the money and then he called me up and he returned the money. I'm very surprised, you know, because I didn't know about that money. If he want to keep that for him, I will. I wouldn't know also, you know. But he's not like that. He he's a guy with integrity. So when he found the money, he gave me a call and he returned the money to me, and I'm very grateful for it. And then um, he's also kind of a fun guy. And our trip to Indonesia. Is very fun. Hello everybody in Street Feeders. Um, I'm Anthony Cummins. I used to work at Verdana University and I'm now back home in Ireland in County Cork. I'm outside in the garden. It's very cold. That's why I'm wearing this blue woolly hat and thick jumper. But it's a lovely day. It's bright and clear and um, it's okay just that it's a little bit chilly. Chillier than anything you would never experience anything like this in KL. I wanted to say a few words about <clears throat> Uncle Amran. Um, <clears throat> I found him extremely helpful to our students and though his life was very different to many of our lives he struck a chord with them I think because of his kindness and his consideration for other people and he gave them principles to live by thinking about other people living a simple life and I think when you're enmeshed in modern life with all the pressures and all the requirements to be here, there and everywhere, sometimes we have to reflect back and think about having a simpler life. And I think this was the message he was getting across. He spoke to the first year students who were involved in our healthcare symposia and talked about his life how he came to be living on the streets. Um, I think the students found him very warm 
and they gravitated towards him naturally because of his personality. I was very sad to hear of his death and I was sorry that I was unable to make the original ceremony because of issues about travel and so on. And I hope that you have a, a good day today on Saturday. Um, the, today is here, it's Thursday. I'm recording this in the garden. But I hope you have a good day on Saturday and I wish you all the best. And to Gary and the others, <coughs> excuse me, at Street Feeders, I wish you also ongoing success and the courage to keep doing what you do because the service you deliver to your street friends is invaluable. I have no doubt. Okay, I wish you all the best. It's uh, <clears throat> goodbye from a very cold but bright Ireland, County Cork in Ireland. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye, bye. I'll never forget the time when Uncle told me this. He said, hey, Veron, do you know that people on the streets, they're sick in the heart. And more than clothes or food, what they really need is someone to listen to them, to comfort them. And it could happen to you or me. So there are two things that I learned from him. The first one is just be yourself. If you're a stylo, be stylo. And we know that uncle with his baker's hat and his chunky watch, he is a stylo at heart and he can't be bothered with what other people think. Uh, the second thing is this. Uncle is truly a man without shame. No fear. He may seem shy, but the moment there's an opportunity to do what he believes in, which is to help young people, in fact anyone, have breakthroughs in their thoughts, in their mindset, he will go for it. And I believe a lot of us here, we have witnessed that, and what a pleasure it was, and still is in our memory. I had the pleasure of meeting Uncle Amra in 2016 when I went to KL to do a project to help our street friends and Uncle Amra was an amazing help to our project. He's just an amazing human. I'm very grateful that I got to meet him. All of his stories were always so inspirational. He was always so eager to help everyone. He was so passionate about um, helping the community uh, in the streets. So I'm very grateful. And two years ago, I went back to KL and I was so happy to see him in his new apartment. I went there, we had dinner with his friends and it was just, yeah, an absolutely beautiful moment. And I'm very happy um, that I got to see him again in, in his new house. He was just so happy. And yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful that he was part of my life and sending him and all of his friends and family lots of love.